Hey everyone, it's David here with Surplus Fund. I want to talk to you today about an actual story that, that happened on a coaching call. So I was talking to a guy about a month ago, and today's March 2nd of, of 2022. And a month ago, this guy had no deals and he was on a 60-day call, which is like a marketing plan call. We talked to him about their business, what's working, and this is in Surplus Fund Academy, what's working, what's going forward, and how to get their market to get automated, how to scale it, how to go on from there. So this guy and I are talking and he had nothing done and he told me how great the program was. So I tell him, I say, okay, if I was your basketball coach right now, I'd be really, really disappointed with you. If I was your volleyball coach, whatever, I said, you've not performed. You're telling me how great I am as a coach, but obviously something's not working. We, we extended out 30 days. He had some tasks to do. We talked 30 days later. He has 17,000 on the way. He's got multiple deals and he's he's doing extremely well. He's got many more going. He's actually looking for a new attorney to work some new territories. What happened between those 30 days that caused him to be able to be successful? Let's talk about that in this video. But before I do that... subscribe to my channel, go and click the subscription down below, click the notification link, and I'll see you in the video. Okay, so I would say that in order for you to be successful in this community or any community you want to work on in any job and you're not being successful. So I'm going to talk about like a warrior's life. So you're working either state funds, bankruptcy, unclaimed funds, mortgage overages, or tax overages, and you're trying to get people paid. And for me in 2014, when I first crossed this business, the hardest part was calling somebody and letting them know that they had money they didn't know they had and trying to get them to trust me. Very hard to do. And it's almost easier not to do it. And what's weird is I get emails and people tell me all the time how great I am on the phone and what have you. It's just as easy once you make it a habit to do it as not to do it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really, it could really go um, both ways, you, but you've got 5% of the people being successful um, in society and 95 not being. Why? Because 5% will, will, will do the task they want to do. It's like running a marathon. When, when you run a marathon, do you just get up and you run it? I mean, I'm sure people have tried that. They're probably not successful. Or do you like maybe run a few blocks one day and then few more the next and, and you keep on building up this endurance and as you get more and more endurance you're able to run that marathon within a parameter of time and and this is the same way you, you've got to build your way up you just don't start off like and I, I coach people and sometimes on the first coaching calls I hear them say yeah I'm going to be making a million dollars by next week and I'm going to be doing this well people have made millions of dollars people have have done I mean there's there's billions of dollars of unclaimed funds or recoverable funds and it's just sitting there it's crazy how we have this in, in our in our culture and it's just sitting there and why not get people paid for it? But you're going to have to have a starting point and you've got to treat it like a million dollar business. Everyone that I see succeed, you've got to start off with a certain level of endurance. Number one is you've got to write it down. Okay. If you're not going to write down your goals, you're going to be in trouble and you've got to write it down. And even a little more specific is write your day out as much as you can. Because I know for me, when I don't write my day out, even to this day, it's chaos. I come in, I sit in the computer, I open up an email, then I realize I have to do something. And then I cross my calendar. I realize something else is on there. And before I know it, there's chaos. Even on this video right now, it's written down from a parameter of time on Thursdays is when I do my videos. And during Thursday mornings, I take no, no interruptions, but just go ahead and I just work on my videos. That's it. Okay. Then on um, other days, I, I have other things going on, but write out your goals and write out your schedule. So maybe you, you haven't made a phone call yet and you're going to make one phone call. And trust me, one phone call is like running a quarter of a marathon. It is not easy to do if you've never made a call. I know this because I've done that. I, I've been there, I've done that, okay? So you're going to make that one phone call. Put a parameter of time, like 11, 11, 15, make the phone call. I guarantee you're probably going to make it closer to 11, 15 than 11. The quicker you do it, the better. In fact, if you make it at 10, 45 and get it done, kudos to you because it's tough to do. But write out what you need to do, write out your schedule. That would be the first thing I'd have to say to do. Secondly, and I'm going to take you on the video here. I'm going to change the screen. I'm going to show you the Commit to Three app. I would say, and, and there's a million different apps. There's apps on your phone that you could have and, and send as reminders. Even the iPhone has task reminders that you could put on. So let's transition into this. All right, so the second thing is an app on your phone. This is called the Commit to Three app. It's right here. It says Commit to Three. It's just an app on your phone. When you do this, this is the first page you get, and all you have to do is you click Get Started. Once you click Get Started, it, it'll give you... To, so I'm filming this on March 3rd of 2022. 
All you have to do is you have to type up your, um, your, your commitments here, your first one, your second one, your third one. Now, I'm going to make this warrior-oriented warrior again, but I put down some of the things that I, I would have thought, like, maybe today I want to contact five people and let them know that they have unclaimed funds. Maybe I want to get one contract out today, and I'm working on a few leads, and my goal is to work those leads and get one contract out. And then I might want to spend some time with the wife and kids or go hiking with the kids or do something like that, and that might be my commitment right there. And right there, it's in my phone. It's saved. It will ask me at the end of the day how I did with that or it will remind me how, how to do with that. Now you could go a little further with this and what you could do with this is you could go ahead and if you come down here and I just clicked the top so what I did is I clicked up here where the two people are on the upper left and then it'll give you this drop down it says like add a team. Now when you click add a team it wants you to create a um, you'll get a message that looks like this. And, and you have to create an account, which is fine. You know, you create an account, pay a few bucks. And there's probably a million different apps out there. This is personally one that got recommended to me that I like, that I endorse in the course. It's called the Commit to Three app, and it's it's a fairly good system to have on your phone. So this would be a, this would be a good app as, as a reminder, as well as writing it down, as well as having the next one, which I'm going to talk about is the accountability partner. Okay, and the third thing and the final thing I want to go over is an accountability partner. Now... An accountability partner is not easy to find, okay? I'm going to say that flat out. Now, imagine you want to hang out with somebody and, and you want to do a sport or something with that. And I'm, I'm thinking about like basketball, pick up games. You want, to, you want to hang out and you want to get to know somebody. It, accountability partner is the same way. You just don't want to walk up to someone and say, hey, be my accountability partner. I mean, they're going to look at you and think, okay. And, and, and you're nervous about asking them. But join a community like with us. We've got the Facebook groups and we've got the Surplus Fund Mastery and we've got the Surplus Fund Academy Facebook groups. And you get people that are posting deals, questions. You could tell them motivated, you could tell them moving. Ask them, just ask them a couple of questions like, hey, congratulations on this check you just got. How many calls did you have to make before you get that? Or was, did this person get you the check right away? And, and get to know this person and just say, man, great job, compliment them. And then eventually just ask them, hey, do you have an accountability partner? Do you do this on your own or, or how do you do it? I'm looking for an accountability partner. Do you have any ideas on how I might be able to, to find one? And, and they might offer right then to be your accountability partner. Now, with that being said, I was an accountability partner for someone outside of Warriors, but this person asked me to be an accountability partner and I was, and this person never followed through on their part. And he gave me an action plan to text him, to call him and, and do something else. And what I was doing is I was constantly texting him and calling him and, and the phone would ring once and he'd throw me right into voicemail. So I told him we were done. I said, we're done. I'm, I'm not going to be your accountability partner anymore. He came back and he's like, you know what? I'm really sorry. I messed up. Can we do a second try? I thought, sure. Why not? So I gave this guy a second try. Second try, same thing. Um, he, first three weeks, he was great. And then he went right back to his old habits and he wasn't, he wasn't being held accountable. He wasn't um, returning calls and just, just ignoring me. And I just, I, I said, we're done. He came back a, uh, another time and said, we'd be my accountability ability partner and I said you know what I really think you need to find someone else I said I I've got better things to do with my time than me I said if you were falling if you were sticking to a plan that would be one thing but but you're not even sticking to a plan and if you break you don't do what you're being held accountable for have an action plan uh, mine would probably be cleaning the beach and it's not a punishment because I enjoy surfing I like clean beaches and for me I would get something out of it if I went and I cleaned the beach and, and it would be some work. I would be reflected on something I enjoy doing, but it would also be something that's like, you know, um that would be a good it shouldn't necessarily like I wouldn't go and clean the kennels at a, a at an animal shelter. That that'd be horrible. I wouldn't go and, and do something that, that I'm not meant to do or that, that I'd be miserable. I mean, you're never going to do it. You're going to follow the program, but do something that's a little bit of work, but will get you to reflect, but you're helping support a cause that you really enjoy. That 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 might be something that might be good. Really, really like offer to, to something in return with the accountability partner, offer to be something that, that you can be. I mean, that would be good. So again, you're going to write your goals out in times, stick to a schedule. I have whole videos on that. You're going to do an app on your phone, like a commit to three app or something like that. They're always really super good. And you're going to go and have an accountability partner. I know. And yes, Pierre, I'm seeing your name. So Pierre, I'm talking about you on this. He's the guy I was coaching that actually, that, that actually had this. And, and some people will email me, Hey, you talked about me on the video, but the fact that he knew he was going to talk to me, the fact that he had a list of accountability and, and, and a specific list that he 
had to do really, really just made him sweat bullets and made him, made him um, get out there, do what he was supposed to do. So hopefully that'll work for you. I had a young lady, Jen, same thing. And she did almost the same exact thing he did a few weeks prior. So I, I decided to do a video on this and, and hopefully you liked it. Do me a favor. Tell me what you think of the, these types of videos. Something else I need to do more and I'll, I'll gladly do it. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.